Hi, my name's Helen. This is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're returning, thank you. And if you're a Hell's Bell, hello. Um, I've still got, I don't know what order this is going to be in, but I've got a cold, basically. I think I got what I had last week, so I kind of feel a bit like cotton wool and I never know what my voice is going to sound like. I'm ranging everything from, uh, oh, there's Dolly, come to say hello. Uh, everything from a Dalek through to... Um, Jamie, Edna, Everidge. Anyway, uh, a couple of things to show you today. Um, I popped into, there's Dolly wants to go out, as sure as eggs is eggs. Hold on, every time. It's great that she rings the bell to go out, but you know, it means you kind of can't ignore it either. Anyway, I forgot what I was gonna say now. Um, I've got a couple of things to show you today. I have my nails done this morning. I'm not sure about them to be honest, but Oh, it's a bit of fun, isn't it? It's just my nails. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I popped into Superdrive and got a couple of bits. I bought some of this Dove um, Gradual Tanning Lotion because um, what I find is, <laughs> TMI probably, but, so uh, you know, I wear a, a two-piece and um, I go quite brown, you know, I've got quite easily tannable skin. But the bits in between look a bit, the contrast is quite dramatic. So I thought when I use my body lotion, I'll just pop this kind of uh, over the whiter bits and it might kind of blend the edges a little bit, <laughs> if you get my drift. So I went for the medium dark, so I hope it's not too dark. Um, but I won't use it on my face. Sorry, I've got this throat. Um, I use tanning drops on my face, um, so I'm coming up to needing to use them again. And they're just the little tan lux, I think they are, tanning drops that I just pop into my moisturiser. Because I try and, and use a block on my face. And um, the, the bit of kit that I've got to show you within the next couple of weeks, one of the things is do not get sun on your face so i did get a little bit of sun on my face when we were away because it was almost unavoidable but um generally speaking i try not to and i saw this recommended by nadine baggett today and um i trust her she's very good and it's this um biore um aqua rich uv and and you don't need to use any other moisturizer with this which i thought was rather nice because in the summer you can just pop that on and it's like what they say one and done so there's dolly demanding to come back in again so i am going to let her in now and then she can just stay in. oh honestly i've just recorded well i didn't record i thought i'd recorded something and i didn't i hadn't well I, anyway never mind um I'm obviously not the full shilling today. Um, what did I say? I said that I think, well, basically I saw this dress on the John Lewis website and I'm going to try it today. It looks nice, the color's lovely. I've got no idea. It's another Rowan Zoe dress, but it is expensive. It's over 130 pounds. And um, to me, that's, expensive but if it looks fabulous then happy jays i'll keep it but if it's not fabulous then i won't and i will have half an eye hour half an eye out for something else but if not i will just wear one of the cruise dresses because um you know it's not my party i mean i am kind of you know the host mum so it kind of gives you some status but you know there's going to be loads of gorgeous young people there so I just want to hold my own um but I want to be comfortable most of all so the other thing I was just saying is that somebody asked about um uh steamers and so I've got two steamers handheld steamers and so I'll show you those and show you how they work and what I use them for. And uh, I've got this Asda haul of separates that um, I was, uh, you know, I was so, so impressed with the other haul. I thought I'd give these a go. And so I haven't even opened the bag yet. So I'll do that now and um, I'll, I'll crack on 
with with these it's still really chilly out by the way i've got this dress on which is kind of i guess kind of a spring autumn dress because it's got long sleeves but you know it's got no warmth to it i've got vest underneath a long vest top but um yeah god the wind is really cutting hopefully it'll warm up um anyway i'll stop blabbing on and um try what will i do i'll do the dress first and then the separates so i hope you're enjoying these videos and um if you haven't already could you consider subscribing it costs you nothing it just means that your my videos any new videos will come up in your youtube feed and um if you ring the notification bell you'll get notified of any new videos so um i'd be really grateful if you could do that thank you so this is the john lewis dress and I think it might be a winner. Um, it's, as you can see, it's a beautiful uh, bright blue and um, bright green. It's not really a lime green, it's not an emerald green, it's kind of a grass green. And it is, um, I think it's polyester and viscose, but it's a Devore, so it's cut, you know, the, the blue is cut to show the green. And it's got this V-neck, nice empire line lovely sleeves it's really lightweight like really lightweight a great length sleeve and then it's got the cut out at the back it's quite you know i mean i didn't have to undo the zip to put it on it, it it fits perfectly well now because i've got bright lights on it is kind of creating a bit of a shadow around my tummy but that's very easily fixable, you know, we just um, kind of, I don't need to wear shapewear, but you know what I mean when I say kind of a bit more of a supportive pant. <laughs> so um, I'll show you the full length. It's a bias cut again. I just put the, the new shoes on with it. I've got so many shoes that I know I've got something that will work with it. I've got silver, I've got gold. Um, I don't think I've got green or blue, this shade of blue. But, um, you know, it's kind of low when I look down, but it's not low when you look from the front. But I think it's the nice um, height V. So, like, you know, you can kind of see if I hold my stomach in, um, it's not... It's not too bad at all. So I think this might be the winner, ladies. I will decide when I see the video. Um, uh, so, you know, we're reviewing it simultaneously. So, uh, sorry, I couldn't, I'm not dexterous enough to kind of get rid of that label hanging out there. But um, you can kind of see the back. Yeah, so I think that's rather nice, actually. I, I know this colour suits me, so um, I'm impressed. And this is literally off the hanger, out of the packaging. So it was, um, you know, that's the colour inside. So you can see that it was obviously a two-layered two fabric, kind of the way it's made. And um, it's got the, uh, the top fabric cut away. So, yeah, I mean, poly yeah, it's, it's polyester and viscose, so it won't crease up too badly. And it's really, really lightweight. I mean, I can't tell you how light it is. I mean, it, it's um, very lightweight. So the same kind of um, weight as the flowery frock which I just decided, I did really like it, but it was just a bit too flowery. <laughs> the flowery frock was too flowery. Anyway, um, I'll have a look on the video, I'll show the girls, and um, I think this might be it. Fingers crossed. <laughs> a completely different look. Um, so I've got what, they describe as a wonder fit boot cut jeans. After trying those boot cut jeans that I took on holiday, I kind of like them again now. It's weird, isn't it? How your 
your perception changes of how things look and I think they're quite flattering. The weird thing with these is that I bought them, what they do in Asda, George, I should say George rather than Asda, the trousers are like across two sizes. So these are an 18, 20, they're really stretchy, really comfortable. Um, and they were 20 pounds. But I bought them in a long and I bought them in, a, I bought them in a regular and I bought them in a short. And they're exactly the same length. I've just tried them both on. I tried on the regular and I thought, oh, they're a little bit on the long side. So I'll try the short and, and they're exactly the same length. So I don't know what's happened there. They're 20 pounds. Then I've got this very not like me t-shirt on Rolling Stones t-shirt. I don't even like the Rolling Stones, but I quite like the motif. And uh, that was £12.50. And then this long line cardigan, which is £14. So I'll sort of show it to you together and then I will, um, excuse me, sorry. I will um, take, take the cardigan off. So I quite like a long length cardigan in the summer that's not particularly, you know, it's, it's just ribbed, it's not thick, but just kind of can elongate the line, if you know what I mean. Um, it's got no pockets, oh yeah, it has got pockets, she lied. It's just a ribbed fabric. And this I got in the um, 18. So you can see that the um, back of the jean, I've got these platform trainers on, and the back of the jean is, is just touching the floor, but I'm not worried about that. I'm sure they'll shrink slightly. And if necessary, I can shorten them. When I shortened my last jeans, I, I used that trick that I saw on Instagram, you know, where you just put a tuck right along the edge of where the turn up is so that um, you don't lose the original hem and the original stitching, which worked a treat. Um, so yeah, so I quite like, I quite like this whole look actually. You know, it's quite casual, but quite kind of smart at the same time. Um, I think I would have preferred this T-shirt in the bigger size. It, although, I, I don't know. I mean, a lot of ladies are saying to me, you're like, you're, you wear too baggy clothes. But, you know, you kind of get used to things, don't you? So, I mean, it fits. There's not a lot of room for manoeuvre. Do you know what? Oh. Yeah, I mean, I can feel it's kind of a bit clingy here. And then, like I say, the jeans are, they come up nice and high. They've got belt loops all the way around. They've got a good stretch to them. Got all the pockets. What I would say is I would always wash these before I wear them the first time, especially with white trainers, because I've done that before and the dye comes out of the denim and ruins your trainers. You never get them back. So... I mean, I think for £20, these jeans are very good. They are really stretchy. You know, I wore my um, Matalan jeans on the flight all the way from Tokyo back to here. And people said, oh, don't wear jeans on a flight. But they are so stretchy. They're just as comfortable as anything. So, um, yeah, so that's the first ensemble. Um, I've, got, I've got a few tops and things, so I will... Um, see kind of what goes with what and uh, and show you those. I've done it again. I honestly, I thought, well, I'll just try these on for you guys, you know. But I think this is really nice. It's um, cotton kind of jersey that doesn't really stretch, if you know what I mean. Quite a nice weight fabric. And then it's got all this embroidery here and on the sleeves and uh, around the bottom too. This is 18 pounds. So, I think that's really nice. Probably with a slimmer leg trouser, I think, or maybe like with my white linen trousers, that would look quite nice because they're tapered. But, um, jolly good value for money, I have to say. I mean, it is low when I look down, but I don't think it's too bad looking at me but it looks more than 18 pounds worth doesn't it and it's a good length you know because if it was hot you could always kind of blouse that over 
but I mean, it's it's not tight or anything, so it wouldn't bother you. Um, yeah, hides you know hold, hides any bulges going on for sure. Although obviously when it is hot, I mean, we don't really generally. Apparently last year's weather, I read that the the heat wave that we had last summer, which was fabulous summer. I mean, I know global warning and stuff. I'm not daft, but. You know, it was so nice being able to plan a barbecue, plan to take the boat out and stuff. But apparently that's a one in a hundred years experience. So um, we're not likely to get that kind of weather again. But this is quite good for, you know, when it's just a normal English summer's day, really. Um, so, yep, I like this one. Oh, flip. I've got to have such a massive clear out. I think I'm going to have to do a vintage thing. Um, I'll, I'll give a load to charity and stuff, but uh, some of it, you know, is nice. But anyway, that's number one top. Uh, I don't normally buy sleeveless tops. I mean, I've got vest tops and, you know, a few if it's really hot. But I thought with this um, Broderie Anglaise trim, it would balance out the shoulders and, and the waist. And it does. It's a little bit too slim fitting for me. Um, but at the same time, it's kind of gaping here. So if it was um, bigger, I think that would be a problem. It's not, it's not all that long. I mean, it'd be all right under something, but then it kind of defeats the object of having it um, sleeveless, doesn't it? But it's pretty. I can't remember how much this was. Um, oh, I'll, I'll, it'll all be linked below, but it won't have been expensive, probably around the twelve pound mark. So. I've kept the jeans on just for convenience, but um, anyway, like, I definitely won't be keeping this. Thank goodness, that's one that can definitely go back without a second thought. But it's it's nice, isn't it? It's pretty. And, uh, you know, if it fitted you, I mean, it just doesn't fit me properly. And I, I really do have to consider how much I'd wear it and I won't. So, thank goodness. So this is a long line tunic top. It's quite unusual. It's, um, I don't know if you can see, but it's almost kind of um, like got a pile to it. It's kind of brushed, if you know what I mean. Um, I don't know what to make of it. I've got it out and I thought, oh no, I don't like that. But actually it's a good length and it's really comfortable and cozy. So I think it made great loungewear. Um, did I say how much this was? I think this is, God, I've got a brain like a sieve. This is 12.50. And then I've got it on with these very lightweight cargo pants. And these are uh, 14 pounds. So the the fit, I have to say, the fit in Asta is really good. Um, you know, their 18s are what I would say are 18s. But um, these trousers haven't got any stretch in them. So... They fit fine, but they're a bit, you know, a bit bellyfied. So um, I like them kind of from there down, but you know, I don't need trousers that are from there down. But very, very good value. I mean, really, really good value. Can't, can't argue with that at all. So um, yeah, I don't know what to do about this top. I don't need it. I'll send it back. But it's really nice. It's really kind of cosy. It's the sort of jumper. It's not jumper. It's the sort of top you want to put on at the moment. Because uh, every evening I'm putting a blanket over me. I may drop turn the heating off. And uh, oh my God, it's chilly of an evening. So yeah, that's those two. Um, I've just got a couple more. I think I've got another pair of trousers and another top to show you. So the last um, trousers I've got to show you are just really some jogging bottoms and they're too big, I think. I got the extra large and I probably should have got the large, but honestly, they are seven pounds. I mean, yeah, I've got no pockets, but they're very comfortable, obviously, because they are quite large. They're, you know, I've got a lot of room in them. So I just kept them on with the black top because the other top that I was going to show you is not actually for me, it's for Rob. Um, and this is from their, their new range, which is called exclusively at George. And um, he's wearing a suit to our daughter's uh, wedding. 
birthday slash anniversary party and it's her husband's party as well he's 40 i think i told you in september and uh, he's got a really lovely suit that we bought for the holiday we got in the next clearance and it's kind of a dark dark olive green um cotton suit so it's kind of a casual summer suit and uh, i thought you know i've seen you know you see them on the tv these guys and they, they're not wearing kind of shirts anymore so to make it a bit more kind of party i got him this lovely um t-shirt and this was um it's supima cotton um 16 pounds so it's a really really lovely fine knit so i think that'll look really smart under the suit um so i'll get him to try that on tonight and hopefully he'll he'll like it too um because it's got you know it's got it's got nice details it's got a nice little collar as well and uh just needs a bit of a, a press up now i wouldn't steam this because it's the the fabric's too heavy you know i think steaming is more suited to a lighter weight fabric so what i'm going to do is um I'll kind of that's that's what I'm showing you from Asda today and then like I say I promised um that I would show you how I use my steamer so if you've got steamers and everything else then you know you don't don't need to worry about this uh next part of the video um and yeah oh it's got nice little kind of slits here too so yeah I'm I'm pleased with that that's a good price that would be that probably be more like 30 pounds in some other well-known high street stores um you know what i mean and uh yeah so hopefully this cold will go i'm heading up get my hair cut this week um as you can see uh i kind of have got it much straighter and smoother it's got quite long hasn't it it's surprising when it's wavy you know it goes up to about here um but the waves kind of find their way back because this was all going under yesterday but uh yeah so i'm going up to see grace and um get my hair cut and see a couple of old friends and uh yeah, so that should be nice hopefully the weather plays ball and um, so yeah so that's kind of the end of the asda haul and then i will just demonstrate a couple of steamers that i've got if for anyone who's interested thank you bye so now i am going to demonstrate these steamers so i bought this one from amazon and it doesn't have a name on it it's just uh something from amazon i'll put the link if i can find it and this one weighs one and a half pounds so this is a travel steamer and um it's you know it's quite light really um it it takes 200 ml of water and then the other one i've got is this phillips one which is much more heavy duty and i got this one in costco but they're available everywhere i'll put the link to that as well um, and this is Philips Steam and Go. And this one is two and a half pounds. And I think this one actually takes less water. So, which is a bit annoying because you have to keep refilling. So what I'll do, I'll, I'll start off with the travel steamer. I'll get a little jug of water and um, I'll show you how that works. And then I'll use the Philips steamer to see what the difference is. I've never done this myself. So, I mean... I usually use whatever one's nearest to be honest right so this one just steams all the time so um the other one so you just pop some water in and then you can just see when it starts steaming so it's very basic i mean it's just like really a kettle that doesn't switch off and then you just you know this isn't particularly creased but you kind of this is how you use it and, and the creases just drop out so um it's very handy, you know, they are handy if you're going away for the weekend or something and you just, you know, you don't want to sort of worry about an iron or anything in the hotel. And uh, they are effective. You can see, you know, that's um, steaming away quite merrily there. And this one's got two settings, so it's got one or two on the settings. And as I say, it takes 200 ml of water. But I guess because you can't, um, you know, it's just steaming from the minute you switch it on, it's steaming. Whereas this one, the kind of 
that uh, kind of bigger brand one, I suppose, because it's the Phillips. Um, this one you switch on and off as you're using it. You have to be very careful. It is easy, quite easy to burn yourself with these. Um, this has got an on off button, so I'll just turn it off before I put the water in. It's got this little container here, which, as you can see, um, has got not, you know, not a lot of water, but enough probably to do one garment. Uh, I usually just fill this up from the tap, to be honest. So then it does get up to um, temperature quite quickly, as you will see. So it's red. And uh, unlike this one that just starts steaming as, as it's up to temperature, this one will turn green. But it is much heavier. But this is much more of a kind of professional level, I think. Um, you know, the sort of one that you'd see in, in stalls and things. Uh, but it, yeah, it is heavy, whereas this one is comparatively lightweight. As I say, that's this is a pound heavier. So, um, yeah, so that's ready to go. Um, it doesn't go green apparently it just goes off red and then with this one you just you've got a little lever and then you see i mean if i only had to buy one i would buy this one um and what they are really handy for is just having up in your bedroom so you know and this is kind of great for that dress that i just bought where you might be a bit worried about putting an iron on it you can just steam it. So I'll put links to both of them if I can find them. And uh, they're not hugely expensive, so it's not kind of a massive purchase. And I'd say very useful to just have upstairs for the odd time. I mean, I wouldn't, I certainly wouldn't like do all my ironing with this, but it's it's useful if you've just got a dress out of the wardrobe and it's a little bit creased. I do keep this upstairs. And I have taken this one on holiday with me. It's horses for courses, isn't it? This is very basic. This is more sophisticated. But for that, it's a pound heavier. So wouldn't so easily pop into a suitcase when, um, you know, weight is at a premium. So anyway, just a very quick review of these two steamers as I was asked to show them. So I have. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you. Bye.